Hey guys, today a new hotfix just dropped for the Xbox version of PUBG, and it should be available to download for everybody right now. Now unfortunately, when I logged into my Xbox this morning, the new update didn't show up. So what I did is I went ahead and uninstalled PUBG, and I'm reinstalling right now, so hopefully that resolves that for me, but just a heads up in case that happens to you as well. So I thought I'd go ahead and go over the patch notes. There's also a couple more things that I'm going to cover in this video, including the community event headhunter challenge, as well as when I'm going to be streaming. So stay tuned for that right after the hotfix patch notes. So in the patch notes, they start off by saying, we're putting out a hotfix today with changes to the lobby, server, and a potential fix for the ready bug. Now the patch timing, it came out June 28th at 1am Pacific time, so it should be available for everyone to download. They fixed a bug where the match type wasn't being shown after creating a character. This bug fix was somewhat relevant with the ready button bug that caused frustration for many players. Often the ready button would disappear, especially after finishing a duo or squad match. This could potentially fix the ready button bug, so please give us your feedback and let us know if you're still experiencing this problem after the hotfix so we can ensure this is completely fixed. Now I don't know about you guys, I'm sure you had the same issue, but a lot of times after a duo or a squad match you'd actually have to back out to the title screen and then come back to your squad and then you'd be able to ready up. Um, a lot of times that ready up button would not be there and so you'd have to do that to fix it. Also included were some minor server fixes and minor lobby fixes. So that's it for the patch notes, it was just a quick one, a little hot fix for us. Unfortunately, I don't know just how big it was in size, so one of you guys, if you're able to download it just by itself without having to reinstall the game, you'll just have to let me know in the comment section below so that I can know if anyone asks me how, how large the size is of this download. Usually little hot fixes like this aren't very big, so it should be a really quick install for you guys. Now on to the community event that we completed, the Headhunter Challenge. Basically what they did is they wanted us to complete 4 million headshots as a community between June 20th and June 27th. And it looks like we completed it. We had 4,435,777 headshots as a community. So that's pretty cool. We actually did it. I went on Twitter the other day just to give some encouragement because everything was going so negative um, on the PUBG post that said that we were almost there. Everybody was just crapping on the game and so I decided to say, well, we can do it guys. <laughs> uh, so it looks like we actually did it and we passed it by almost another half million headshots. So that's pretty impressive. Those who met the event requirements will receive their prize next week. Two militia crates will also be given as a big thank you to everyone who participated in our first ever Xbox community event. So basically in order to participate all you had to do was play one round between June 20th and June 27th. Even if you didn't get one single headshot in that round, um, you will be receiving this. Everyone that participated will receive the bloody shirt and fingerless gloves that I'm going to show up on the screen as well as those two militia crates that they mentioned before. I hope they do more of these in the future. Hopefully, uh, what I'd like to see is some daily or weekly challenges for individual players, whether it's just getting extra BP, or if it's getting crates, or if it's getting specific cosmetic items, I don't know, but um, just something to keep people playing every day, every week, have something for people to strive for, just because right now there's really no uh, sense of progression or anything like that. And a lot of times the loot crates are just terrible. And so something to shoot for, uh, something to go after would be nice. All right, and lastly, I want to talk about the stream. So tonight I am going to stream. I plan on getting on around 10 p.m. Eastern time. So if you guys do want to hang out, check out the stream, get in some matches with me, then try and jump on around 10 p.m. Eastern time tonight. And I should be on, I should be streaming live on YouTube. And I'll try and do the same exact thing as I did last time. The first three names that I pick, I'll put in a match, a squad match with me. And then we'll just kind of switch people in and out as we go, as needed. I've done two streams so far, and so far we have three wins together. So I do look to improve that. I want to get a couple wins tonight at least. So hope you guys bring your A game. I've been playing a little bit better lately, so hopefully I can kind of contribute more than I did the last time. But either way, I know you guys will show up and you'll have... Uh, You'll have some good matches with me and, and try and carry me along to victory. But yeah, that's it for this short update. If you want to check out more for yourself, I'll have a link to all this in the description below. I'll also have a link to my Twitter, so if you want to stay up to date on everything I do there, go ahead and give me a follow. As always, like the video if you found it useful, and subscribe to stay up to date on everything PUBG Xbox. And also hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when I do post a video or when I start streaming. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Until next time, I'll see you later.